Hi everyone, how you doing? So in this video we're going to be focusing on the scales. Uh, in this one we're going to be going over E minor blues scale, which is a really fun one to mess about with. So I'm going to show you the first two positions of that one and then I'll show you a lick at the end of the video as well for you to mess around with. And on the Not the Guitar Facebook page I'll have the tabs for that lick on there as soon as possible so uh, you can have a, you can print that out and keep looking at that and mess about with so you don't forget any bits. An important thing to do with the scales as well, again as I said in the last video, once, you've, once you know the scales inside and out, play them in different keys so you can know how to play, so, so you know them, I can't talk today, I'm sorry, so you know them inside and out in every single key. Once you learn the lick as well, it's good to move it up to the next key, so once you've mastered it in E, go on to F, and then F sharp and G and so on and so forth, and mess about with it in all the various different keys. It's always good to know how to do all that. Um, a lot of people I know that I was guilty of it as well when I first started playing the guitar. As soon as I learned a lick or a solo or anything, I just stuck with it in that one key and I didn't move it about anywhere else. Uh, so it's good I do that now, thankfully, but I move it onto different keys just to mess about with. Just so if I'm having a jam with my mate, sort of I'm up at a gig or going into a recording in the last minute, someone wants to change the key of it, I'm not sitting panicking, thinking, oh, I don't know how you play it in that key. I'll know it inside and out, which is very useful to know. So we'll start off with the first position in the E minor blues scale. So you're just going to hit your 6th string open, and then your 3rd finger, 6th string 3rd fret, and then you're going to hit the 5th string open, 1st finger 5th string 1st fret, middle finger 5th string 2nd fret, and then your 4th string open, middle finger 4th string 2nd fret, then 3rd string open, and then your middle finger 3rd string 2nd fret, 3rd finger 3rd string 2nd fret, and then your 2nd string open, 3rd finger 2nd string 3rd fret, then 1st uh, string open, sorry, and then your 3rd finger 1st string 3rd fret, and that's your E minor blues scale there. Now I'll play that slowly for you, and you can feel free to play along with it. So just 6th string open, then the 3rd fret, 5th string open, 5th string 1st fret, 5th string 2nd fret, 4th string open, 4th string 2nd fret, 3rd string open, 3rd string 2nd fret, and then 3rd string 3rd fret, 2nd string open, 2nd string 3rd fret, 1st string open, 1st string 3rd fret, and that's you there. It's also good to play the scale backwards as well, just so you can go upside down, up, up and down, sorry. Uh, so it's good to mess about with there. So just playing it the exact same way, just going back up the way. So just go. And that's you there. So it's good to mess about with that, just until you know it inside and out, and then we can move on to the next part of the scale, which is your first finger in the fourth string on the second fret, and then your pinky on the fourth string on the fifth fret, and then your first finger third string second fret, middle finger third string third fret, third finger third string fourth fret, first finger second string third fret, third finger second string fifth fret, First finger, first string, third fret, and then your third finger on the first string and the fifth fret, and that's your second position of the E minor boys scale there. And that's you there. So again, they're really good ones uh, to get practicing with, and once you know them inside and out, it's good to mess about. Uh, with this, with the notes yourself and see what kind of boys like you can come up with of your own. Uh, just remember, if you make any mistakes with it, that's absolutely fine. Mistakes happen with everyone, even the pros do it from time to time. Um, but just keep messing about with it, see if you can come up with licks of your own, as well as learning uh, licks from your favourite musicians or licks that you learn from certain videos that you watch on the internet. Okay, but this one that I'll show you for you to have a wee mess about with. Uh, is this going to be right here? And 
and that's that there. So I'll play that slowly for you again and then I'll talk you through it. So what we start off with, so you get your third finger on the first string on the third fret and you start off by doing a scrape, you don't need to do it, I just like adding the scrape in because I think it adds in a wee bit more to it but you don't need to do that if you don't want to. So how to do a scrape, you just get the side of your hands and just gently touch the strings so you're not putting any pressure on them and you're just going to get that sound and then once you get to the first string, just lift your hand away so you can get that. Right, so once you hit the first string in the third fret, you bend that up and then you pull off. And then you're going to get your third finger, second string, third fret, and you pull that off. So you second string, third fret, pull off, and then you hit the first string open. So I'll play that again for you so you can hear it. And that's you there. Then the next bit. You get your middle finger in the third string in the second fret, and then you're just going to slide from the second fret to the fourth, and then your first finger on the second string in the third fret. Right, so you just do. What you want to try and do as well, once you slide up to the fourth fret, you want to try and make sure that you keep that ringing when you hit the second string in the third fret. Okay, so you want to try and get. Okay, so I'll play that slowly for you again so you can how so you can hear how it sounds and then we'll go on to the rest of it. So you just gonna start off with your scrape. Alright, and then you're going back to the third string in the second fret. And you're just gonna do a pull off there, so you just do that. And then your third finger on the sixth string on the third fret, and you're gonna bend that and then play it open. So you just get, and then on the fifth string you're doing open, first finger, fifth string, first fret, middle finger, fifth string, second fret. And then you're gonna, I'll go on to a B, a B7 chord here. So how you play that? So your middle finger, fifth string, second fret, first finger, fourth string, first fret, third finger, third string, second fret, and then your pinky on the first string on the second fret, and then I just strum. do that there, so I'll we'll do 5th string, 2nd string, and then 3rd string, and then strum from the 5th string down. And that's that there. So again, I'll play that from the very beginning for you, so you can hear how it sounds, and then I'll wait to get on and have a practice with that. So you again, you start off with your scrape. you there. So I hope you enjoy playing that one. Again the E minor blues scale is a very fun one to mess about with. Once you know the scales inside and out it's really fun to mess around with and just come up with your own licks or licks from your uh, favourite blues musicians if you want to have a jam around with some of their tracks. Uh, it's really fun to get on with. Again what to do once you're happy and you know the E minor blues scale inside and out have a try into F and then G and then G sharp and so on and so forth and try that lick as well in all the different keys so it'll be handy to know all that. Uh, so I'll let you get on and practice that. Again if you have any questions feel free to message me on McNaughton Guitar. I'll have the tabs for that lick up for you as soon as possible and if you could go on to my YouTube page give that a wee subscribe. That's uh, youtube.com slash McNaughton Music if you go in there and give that a wee subscribe, that would be a huge help. Thank you. So I'll see you later on. Bye.